thank you for coming back to my channel please subscribe please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments first of all I want to say thank you for all the support that you give me on this channel I really do appreciate you for that thank you so much y'all today we're going to talk about the four stimulus check social security and the jobs and a few other things okay Bitcoin right now everybody on YouTube is being inundated with all of these hackers that's uh, stealing their names and their photos and making fake accounts YouTube is working hard right now trying to eliminate these but it's gonna be a wall it's so many of them but if you ever see anything in my comments and it looks like me or it's got my picture my name talking about Bitcoin just know that is not me please do not fall for their scams personally I hate Bitcoin I would never tell you anything about Bitcoin good okay you may ask since all this time has passed and all the back and forth about it and everything you may ask will we ever get a stimulus check y'all I believe 100% we will get a four stimulus check the big question is when another big question is how much that's something that we do not know but I do feel like in the second part of this bill that they're working on now the American families plan I believe that's where the stimulus check will be if it's not there right after that is passed I believe that it will be a standalone bill for a stimulus check we will just have to wait and see a lot of people saying we will not get one I really 100% believe we will again when and how much a lot of people are asking will they get a raise on Social Security SSI SSDI and VA I believe you will because our government just cannot keep telling you no they know that you are only getting around 900 a month and you simply cannot make ends meet so therefore I do believe you will be getting a raise you know President Biden campaigned the whole time on giving you a two hundred dollar boost on your monthly check and he has not done that then they started talking about giving a raise on the monthly checks they have not done that these are all lies to get certain people into certain offices and so far it's worked but they are going to have to do something for these people that are hurting though I mean these people are elderly they can't work because of their age they can't work on kind of disability and that's also the veterans I mean these people has gave almost everything to build this country and then we're treating them the way we're doing and expecting them to live on nine hundred dollars a month it's simply wrong I do believe a raise is coming the big thing is when and how much longer will you have to suffer but now the people that's young and got children they're getting everything handed to them on a silver platter July the 15th they're gonna start getting their child tax credit now I know they've always got child tax credit on their income tax return if they have a job well the way they're doing it now they all will get it whether they work or not and that is simply wrong right now it's going to be three hundred dollars Steve Holly is trying to get it to be a uh, thousand dollars a month per child and permanently that is just asinine to me so the more kids you got the more money you'll get from the government and you will never have to go back to work great going government Camilla Harris is not doing her job she has been begged by everyone to go down to the border wall to see it firsthand so she can see how terrible 
it is and how terrible those illegal immigrants are being treated. Now, I will say they're illegal, but still, they're human. They deserve to be treated with dignity. I also believe they should be rounded up and sent back to where they came from, but humanely. I mean, I don't believe that they should be treated the way they're being treated. Camilla Harris just laughs every time that she's asked to go down there. She is not doing her job. She is not fit to be vice president. A lot of people loves Camilla Harris. Well, that's because she's a, a female and she's a lady of color. I know I will get hate for that, but that's the truth. And that's the only reason she's vice president right now. Nancy Pelosi set a deadline for July the 4th. Let's see if it works. She wants all of this done and passed by July 4th. That's tomorrow. Let's see if it happens. And then once it gets passed, let's see how long it takes to be enacted. And then they can get to work on the American Family Plan. And that's where the stimulus checks could be. Right now, they're not there. But in negotiations, I see where they could definitely be added. Y'all, it is crucial right now to make your voices be heard. We have to make noise. Go down below this video and get those addresses and phone numbers. Write your letters to all of them. What, what I did... I wrote one letter that would cover them all and I just put them in separate envelopes and sent them to each one of them. Uh, you could do the same thing. You could write them all with one letter. Down at the bottom, also put copies to and then list all of them that you send the letter to. That way they all know that they're not the only one getting this letter. Maybe that would help. But get get those addresses and the phone numbers call those numbers every day bug the crap out of them now i'm not going to ask you to sit on the phone for hours and calling every one of them every day but every day call one i mean yeah it may not help but doing nothing will definitely not help y'all people act like they're so upset about amazon and jeff bezos not paying any taxes during the pandemic, he's made 90 billion, I'm sorry, 70 billion dollars more than what he normally makes. His income went up 70 billion dollars. And that's because he don't pay taxes. And people act like they're upset about it, but yet everyone still buys from Amazon. If you want to do something and you want to make some changes, quit buying from Amazon he will get the message I think I've bought one thing from Amazon in my life jobs I'm going to get some hate here I understand that y'all there's jobs out there Today, me and my wife went to Golden Corral and had lunch. I seen, I bet it was six servers there, and they was all up in age. They're walking with all those heavy trays running back and forth because they're understaffed because young people will not work. But they're busting their ass trying to get a job done, trying to make their own way. And I can see pain in their face. They are hurting, they are struggling, but they're still getting the job done. And I hate to talk like this, but it just pisses me off when all of these young people are sitting on their lazy asses doing nothing, saying they can't find a job. These older people did, why can't you? When we left, it was a $12 meal I gave the lady. She was a little old black lady. She was so sweet. I gave her a $20 tip on a $12 meal. 
I seen the guy that sat at the table next to me had the same server. He left her not a single penny. Y'all, if you can afford to go out to eat, you can afford to give them a tip. They're working for you. They're trying to make your life as close to normal as they can. Y'all, I'm sorry. Seeing them older people working with the pain that they had. It really touched me. Y'all, it is so unfair the way we treat our older people. And yet, our younger people sits on their lazy asses and do nothing. I'm sorry if I've offended anyone here. But it's the way I feel. I love you all. Sound off in the comments. Let me know how you feel about all this garbage. And keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this. I love you all. Ciao.